That was a close one. Weapons, make sure you have everything. Yeah, yeah, I got everything. I'm I do that every day. I mean, I need to know if all your weapons are not jammed. You have all the, you have maximum ammo, you have everything. I need to know everything. Yeah. Yeah. Boss, I haven't been outside for a week, okay? I'm fine. Alright. Hawk's gonna be supplying air support in his bomber. So he won't right. be joining us in the ground or siege. No, I thought. No, I thought that was my job. Uh, false. The job has been designated to him, and so it's over you. So it's not Katusha time. Uh, Katusha will be brought into battle, but it's unknown if we'll use them. Mm -hmm. They have strong anti-air. They have artillery. They have turbulences. They have anti-fighter. They have probably a cruiser. Dax, you got everything? Do you need anything from your office? Nope, got everything I need. Surprised he knew there was a battle. I just, the uh, all hands battle station. This ship's about to take off in a few. Hmm. Well, this ain't my first all hands to battle stations. I knew something was up, and. This is really the only thing we have planned uh, for now, as far as big battles go. All right. Do you want to be piloting, or do you just want to be a ground soldier? Currently, they have at least 22 TIE fighters versus our fleet, which is going to have difficulties engaging them due to the ISD. The Imperial Ooh. Star will bring problems with them having Tartan patrol cruisers and possibly a Carrick. And they'll also have an Arquitans of their own, so fighters is an iffy idea. Hmm. The second we hyperspace the ship near them, they will go on full on alert and they go into attack phase. I have an idea. Go ahead. If they're gonna do that, why don't we, like, load nuclear ordnance into the railgun? Which railgun? You know, the railgun that we have on this bitch. Do we not have a railgun? I thought we had a fucking railgun. We have a mass driver Negative. on this ship. We have a singular What's mass this? driver. Is there a difference? Plus, I deflector I shields can resist nuclear blasts. What if we use a tandem warhead nuclear blast, huh? There we go. So no, nuclear will not work, no matter what kind of warhead you want. They also can literally shoot them. But see, and that's Imperial the point stars of the can the angle mix. their deflectors. Yep. Wow, what a bitch, baby. So they can maximize shields while still being protected. Yep, in the end, this is looking like it's going to be a pretty traditional slugfest. Hmm. Air support will be here, and we'll have mortar support and everything else, but we will have difficulties on the ground. Due to them, we don't know their musical complement. Braddis has been awarded to this. He is currently, as he's heading for an assignment, he's trying to find out the quote-unquote ruins of our base. And as you know, that is extremely hard to get around on foot on. And in air. <laughs> nice. 
so we're secure. Uh, Are you fortunate it's that time useful. for minefields? Minefields? Uh, we don't have any there. That was Imperial territory. We couldn't place any in time. No, 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 no. I can place mines. We just gotta up the gain of their fucking explosives, take out the legs of a few fucking ATSDs. That's probably going to be most of their complement. Yeah, Dak. Recognize yeah. the, uh, helmet? <laughs> You're serious, right? What? Wait, wait, did you kill an Inquisitor? <laughs> no! I, oh. Um, no, it's, it's the fucking helmet I used when I was that guy in Coruscant. What oh, guy? now I recognize it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's Vigil's helmet. Yes. Who? Wait, that was you? I, how did you not know? I literally I was... told you. I, no. I don't think you did. Oh, Dax now. Yeah. Nora seems scared of this armor. Really, no. Yeah. Does she ever have any run-ins with Vigil? No. Uh, yeah, actually, maybe. Uh, I mean, it's so- the helmet has been completely repurposed from black to gray. The helmet is no longer has cracks or the vibes has been updated. Hold on, I'll show you something else. I have a, this is a more cosmetic robe set, as you can tell. It doesn't have, like, battle preferences. Hold on. Let me uh, take off my battle robes. <laughs> Combat armor. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, the shoulder pads and most of the parts of the helmet are made of Beskar. The underneath leather parts are made of stuff that's extremely impressive. Oh yeah, I'm not trying to like brag, I'm literally just waiting for an AOK -okay signal for a VTOL to come pick up your supplies. Oh. Nah. Uh, I well, while ask, we're here... Do you... Do you want the UTAT in combat that was left up to our decision? I imagine big. you can make a pretty good mobile command center. But it's big. And it's expensive. We have repair parts, if you haven't known in that, we've been forging them. We have a, a ton of repair The only thing we don't have are repulsor lifts, so if the repulsor lifts get fucked, the vehicle's fucked. Well, exactly. we have armor. But then at that the point, it just becomes a bunker. Well, yeah. I mean, if it gets stopped in the middle of battle, we will literally use it as a bunker. Yeah. What do you guys want to do? The good thing is, if um, repulsor lift is the only issue, well, that's a good thing. Their primary mode of um, armed defense is artillery fire, and artillery isn't very good at hitting under things. True. But mines are. Uh, it's a repulsor lift. Yeah, repulsions don't trigger mines. True. Okay, before we leave, boss, can I requisite another shotgun? What kind? Any. As long as it is good and does damage and is good. I don't care. It's just... This thing is good, except I can only have 28 shots in it, and it goes through ammo like a motherfucker. Alright. Uh, Havy isn't here. She's also going to be fighter support. Hmm. Yeah. Shocker. Yeah. I mean, she's definitely improved a bit since I last saw, so... At least we Good don't have then. silence up there. I think <laughs> he means that she's fucking gone to do something, if you know what I mean. And she's going to be flying. Come on. Come on, it, it's Havy we're talking about. It'll be fine.
What? Grab he him. slipped down. Yeah. Ah. I see. Test it. I mean, it is a shotgun, and it seems like it works pretty good at close range. If you do not wish for that... I have good if you can... Okay. If you didn't want that, I have something else in my arsenal. Something I'm looking to get requisitioned for our troops. Check this out. Yeah, but the, the thing that I want mine for is, is I've developed a new strategy box. It's literally just fucking jumping around. And it works. But I need something that doesn't have... Unfortunately, that strategy also leaves you vulnerable. If you get hit mid-air, you get sent flying. True. But that's fun. But that's also risky. This is not the kind of battle you're going to be rushing around in. This is a long range to eventually short range to head on engagement. This is why I've got this. Yeah, we're gonna be duking out in the trenches for a while before we advance. Even better, I have a shotgun that's an auto shotty. Better not, they yeah. better not bitch and ask for us to nerf it. <laughs> What, is the Empire gonna call a timeout? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. We gotta play by the rules of engagement. Is that a... Yeah. Is that a DL-44 without the scope? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. A novelty weapon. It has no kickback, no recoil at all. So it's like a 22 plinker gun. Uh, does anyone want one of these? Nah. You don't want the good old Lustar? Nah. My rifle suffices. <laughs> we went past leaving Lustars, I'm impressed. I have this, and I like. Well, the West Star is definitely better than that. I don't oh, care. Yes. Your Three shot burst is sick. Your E5C is coming along. Cool. The idea of it currently is. That. Yep. Good. Five round burst. Burst for tight spread, or just the ability to spray it as you please. <laughs> hmm. Where do you want Alpha in this? Didn't we say he was going to be anti-boarding bitches on uh, our fucking ships? Oh, he's. I didn't hear that, but that's actually really good. We didn't have a designation. Yeah, so we placed on the Harrower. And yep. once he's not needed, he will be launched directly onto the ISD and wreak havoc. Yeah, that was the discussion, because even though he can't give us the information, he does have information programmed into his head regarding a lot of Imperial intelligence. So do we? Do we have he would the fucking be... blueprints beforehand? Because I want to make an army we of those get... bitches. Yeah. I'm going to fucking scream. We'll get there, don't worry. For now, we fucking better. Yeah, but for now, at least we have probably the best possible boarding, Imperial boarding troop. The thing about Alpha is that he knows all of his information and he can access it, but he literally cannot say it to anyone else. I know. 
Oh yeah, that type of program. Go to your offices, gather your spare armor, gather all your spare yep. sword, get your armor sets, weaponry. I'll just need. call them all. That could be special, like you know, like special armor, mil heavy military gear, and all that stuff. You need to retrieve it. We're not gonna have. We're not gonna waste any power. So uh, yeah, go do that now. Nah, I'm just all fucking right. telling my surrogates to do it. Go, I already got go, a fucking go. protocol for this bullshit. Okay, whatever you say. So. Oh, you're back. You're actually here. Figured they would actually have a no show, you know? Hmm. Well, first, uh, come take a seat. You can tell me what uh, happened. Uh, well, well, everything. I don't know everything that's going on. Well started uh all personnel who weren't doing anything were ordered to go on patrol so i did so with uh my pilot friend flash he eventually mm -hmm. well seems that I got warned by that I was in danger, but I didn't get the message till it was already too late. After Flash was reassigned and left the ship, and I earlier I noticed in the opposite hangar bay that there was a clone. Well, it looks someone wearing a blue-ish purple clone armor. I didn't think it was clone armor at the time, but they landed, and I was ordered to the hangar bay. There was no one there, and then they just ambushed me out of nowhere. So I had to flee. All right. Did I have, you fight back at all, or did you just run? I did, but I ran out of ammo after killing one of them. Apparently, I think one of the captains on board. I don't know how many there were, but the captain apparently ordered everyone to not interfere later on because they were there for official business. But they did uh -huh. before that troops did defend me and they were cut down by those assassins. They're about six, maybe seven. All right. I got help from the troops. Uh, eventually. Anyone specific? Like, any specific battalions help you out? Not really. You hesitated there. Uh. So you. No you specific battali battalion did, but. Uh, Obsidian helped me out at the end. Uh-huh, all right. Helped me. Well, first they... Well, they kept calling me a traitor. Now, I didn't get that notion. Though I suspect something happened... Something to do during the Clone Wars when I disappeared. Not over my own volition when the ship was shot down. And I was in a medically induced coma. Do you want to know the actual reason they hunted you? Yeah. Uh, you were registered as a defect in the clones. They realized you were in such a high position, and we thought you... Well, they thought you were a risk to security and integrity of the Empire. Well, they're wrong. Well... 
continuing, they cut off my arm. Obsidian helped me take a tie and leave. I landed on the planet of... Atzeri. Where I had to do odd jobs to get by. And survive. I met a good doctor who replaced my arm and healed me up. But... A doctor on Atzeri. Yeah, fucking sure. A good one. Yeah, well, They're never saw him again. Wanting credits. Yeah, it was you expensive. Operations to come, you come back. Ah. It was very expensive. But... He also... He also did a lot of good for me. Healed my facial scars and... My eyesight's now better. And... I can't prove it yet, but he said he was able to slow clone aging. Uh-huh. Sure. He then disappeared, but I survived. Eventually, my old friends are fighting the Dark Star there, and they extracted me once they realized who I was. I've been laying low this with them. This only covers a slight timeline, though. From the sounds of it, I doubt you were on Azari for that long, considering I the wasn't. Dark Star attack happened quite a long time ago. I was there for about a week or two. Where'd you go after? Uh, my old friends, the old group, whatever. I don't, I don't remember what they're calling themselves now, but they, they kept me hidden. I've been moving from place to place. Um, you promised to swear field to the Empire, servicing them as your best of your ability? I do. Do you swear to uphold the Empire and its laws and justice? I do. Do you swore an oath to never betray, never deceive, or ever betray your Emperor? I will never. Do you accept your rank back into the Store Trooper Corps? I do. Are you wishing to join any other groups or battalions or anything else? Do you wish to have a transfer? Hmm. Not at the moment. Do you have any uh, concerns or anything? Believing that you might be in danger anymore? Not anymore, as I believe. All of the assassins coming after me are now deceased. All right. Well, I guess I can accept you back on the ship. Do you have your armor, weaponry, and stuff? I know you have that. Are you keep intending on keeping that? I do. I have all my gear. So I can, uh, approve it, you know? I mean, they did give me one of the, my old, uh, clone armor sets that I never wore. Alright, I mean, I'm talking weaponry, because I know you have a weapon that they made in your hand right now, but oh, yeah, I have, like, other stuff. I'll need to see it. Sure, at least since you've had so many misunderstandings. Honestly, I do not give a shit if you're a defect. The ability that you were able to take down clone assassins is amazing. Considering those guys were meant to kill Jedi. You're lucky you weren't attacked by the other clone hunting groups. You wanna know why? Those fuckers can take down commandos. Yeah. Well, they tried, but they failed. But they got damn close. Yeah, if you ran into those fuckers, you'd be dead. Do you have any other armaments, as I asked? Nothing new. I think this wrist blaster is new. I don't remember getting it. Well, 
show me. I need to see it. Looks legal. Cool. Seems to be a standard. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Anything else? Oh yeah, of course. You can keep that. Uh, I don't see anything I, mean, I don't... In fact, allied with the Imperial, so that's a symbol of our might, in a way. I think all this I've had. I don't approve of what your group's doing right now. They're, instead of, you know, talking peacefully with an admiral, they're wanting to kill him. I know that you've probably seen the retrofits of their ships. I've been hearing about them. Rumors spread. That there is a new deadly ship out there that can take on Imperial Star Destroyers. Just keep in mind, if you join back with me, eventually you might have to fight your friends. I understand. And in the code of law, there is no way of not shooting them. As part of your, I guess you could label a pearl. You're gonna be put with a tracker. All right. If I see you off the ship or in areas you're restricted in, I will not be nice to you, of course. Makes sense. All right. If you would come with me, then you accept to join back to the Imperials. I do. In recent combat, since you've been gone, our commander, the commander of the Stormtrooper Corps, my ship, has perished in combat. Alright. I don't recall ever you meeting know him. That you're getting any... Yeah, I know. He was always doing his own stuff. He always led battalions and battles throughout the galaxy. He, he died fighting a crime syndicate. Assholes, uh, he was doing a patrol, I think it was, on Utapau, and crime syndicates uh, ambushed and killed his troops. They collapsed the bridge on him and he fell to his death. So congratulations, Commander Hopper. Right. Welcome back to the Imperials. Good to be back. <laughs> 